This is In for Life TV headline news, December 26th. I'm Margot Rutkevich. Prime Minister Hod Olmert sent Syrian President Bashar Assad a message Tuesday saying Israel is still awaiting an answer from Damascus on the possibility of reviving peace talks. Olmert met with the U.S. State Senator Alan Spector and gave him the message which will be delivered to Assad when Spector meets with the Syrian President Thursday. The covert operation to bring 40 Iranian Jews to Israel ended successfully Tuesday night. The group came via an unnamed third country and consists of 10 families and three additional people who made the journey alone. Yechia Lechstein, a rabbi who founded the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews, said each immigrant will receive $10,000. Iran has successfully built a supercomputer which could help the Islamic Republic to analyze information extremely quickly and use sophisticated encrypting software, which requires high processing power only available from such a machine. While there is an international embargo on supplying the Islamic Republic with processor chips of this type required to build such a device, the Iranians have managed to get their hands on the super strength manufactured by advanced micro devices. Five members of a Hamas terror cell who operated in the Nablus area and were responsible for shooting attacks in which Israelis and civilians were wounded and also confessed to killing two IDF soldiers in 2005 near Migdalim were arrested in a combined operation launched by the Israel Security Agency in the IDF. Details released on Tuesday revealed that in some incidents two of the members wore IDF uniforms. An Israeli Air Force helicopter struck a Qassam rocket launcher in northern Gaza Strip Tuesday night, wounding two members of the Islamic Jihad. The airstrike was launched just minutes after Palestinian terrorists in Gaza fired a rocket at the western Negev. On Tuesday, a total of nine rockets were fired at Israel. The majority fell in open areas, causing no damage or injury. Last week, Defense Minister Barak said for every rocket fired would invite a response. Elsewhere on InfoLife TV, Bethlehem is Hamas hiding behind Santa Claus. And the price of freedom, Gilad Shalit. That's all from InfoLive TV, wishing you a good day from Jerusalem. Infolife.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolife.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.